Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a heated jacket that I recently bought, as well as some heated gloves. And I'm going to be getting myself absolutely freezing before I even put them on, because these are the sorts of things that will be very useful to keep in your car for those long journeys over Christmas. If your car breaks down, heated jacket, you're not relying on your car heaters which are going to consume the battery or consume fuel. The temperature here is approximately 4 degrees centigrade. We've got some light drizzle, so it's absolutely perfect. I'm basically just going to sit out here in the cold and wet, get myself to the point of hypothermia, and then I'm going to put the jacket and the gloves on so that I can give you an honest appraisal of how effective they are at warming me back up again. And because I know that when I'm really cold, these big rubbery lips don't work properly, I may as well explain about the jacket now. Right, so that's it there. Oh dear me. Sorry, the wind's getting up. Perfect for getting cold. I'll just put it on so you can see what it's like when it's on. And this is the extra large size because I am a little fat lad. Now looking at this, you can see it does look very warm without it even being switched on and heated. And it is, but it isn't super strong material. You know, this isn't equivalent to some of your outdoor gear by Arcola or Beretta or something like that. You're not going to be pushing yourself through dense hedgerow in this sort of thing because it will rip. This is basically just for everyday use. And for me, whose son is a footballer, this sort of thing is absolutely perfect for just standing, watching my son play football. Warmer than anybody else in the whole crowd. Inside of here, we've got a little pocket. And in there, you have a battery which is, uh, is it 10,000 milliamps? Yes, it is. 10,000 milliamp hours. And of course, you can use this to charge your phone or whatever as well, but this is actually used to power the heating elements in the jacket. So that plugs in like so. You press the button on the side. Those lights come on to indicate how charged it is. This is 100% charged, and actually you may have noticed that has illuminated. That is now at maximum temperature, which is 60 degrees centigrade. Okay, so to switch this thing on, we would just long press the central button. There's our various zones of the jacket, which I'll explain in a minute. And these are individually controlled, so the green is like 40 degrees. Blue is 50 degrees, as far as I can remember, I may get this wrong, and red is 60 degrees. So you can set it to various parts of your body. Or, you can just have it all maximum heat, which is what I'm gonna need it to be very shortly. So I'll just switch that off. Put this away, and I'll show you the gloves. We will come back to this, obviously, when I need to wear it in about half an hour. Now all the details to the jacket and the gloves will be in the video description and also in the pinned comment along with any relevant links, as always. So they come in a really nice bag. And that's the gloves. Yeah, the rain's getting in there, sorry about that. There are the gloves. Very standard design, very much just like good quality ski gloves. They're actually really nice quality.
there you go and they've got heating elements all over them the battery sits in here there's a little pocket which I shall show thee and we've got the little battery here so as soon as that's plugged in it enables these to be turned on and heated so with a long press of the on button the heating elements come on that's on maximum heat because it's red and then we can knock it down to the various other heat settings and really if you're as cold as I'm going to be very soon you want it on the maximum heat and the gloves also have an adjustment here so you can tighten them down over your wrist to keep whatever heat is being generated in here keep your fingers warm and I've just noticed actually that's 3M Thinsulate and a lot of the outdoor gear I've got especially the hats and gloves are Thinsulate and I've never been let down by that material yeah good stuff okay so it's really just a case of standing about and getting freezing cold and I think I know a really good way to speed up that process you've got to love the English winter haven't you never seems to be snowy and nice it doesn't look very appealing it's always cold and wet and just dank and horrible gets right into your bones fortunate I was kind of hoping that this water container would still be frozen solid and it doesn't have much ice left in it however it will be enough to cool down my arms sufficiently to test these gloves they have been in a couple of minutes and it's got to the point whereby my hands are pretty much useless that's great now I can just sit outside a little bit longer and wait till the rest of my body goes useless as well now things are going pretty well been out here for a good while now but I think that I could do better I'll just stand here until I'm absolutely dothering and sackless of course there is a major problem with me doing this for this test and that is that I've got Viking heritage so standing outside in the cold with my top off really takes a long time for me to get cold and before you ask no I am not one of the people who stand on the terraces at the Newcastle United matches with their tops off oh, that's nice and a bit of good rain on me back now good you know I'm still not cold enough I don't know what I've got to do hopefully it won't end up in me having to swim around in my pond I'll just give it another five or ten minutes and then maybe make that do I've been out here about half an hour and as I say before cold does not really affect me <laughs> the Wim Hof of Newcastle <laughs> That's got to help. So I'm just standing here in my kegs trying to get cooled. Uh, it seems to be working a little bit as well after about half an hour or so. My back is starting to stiffen up a little bit. I do feel my lips becoming a little bit more useless. So you will have to forgive me if in the very near future you can't understand what I'm seeing. Because my lips just go all over the place in the cold. <laughs> I got a little bit wetter, a little bit colder. Um, my hands are starting to stiffen up a little bit. My mouth definitely isn't working how it should be. I feel as if I've got a swollen tongue. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> I think it might be time to put the jacket on now because I can't stand around all day trying to get cold. And obviously I won't put anything else on underneath to help me out. So that's it on full power.
Now whilst this is starting to warm up, I should have really mentioned where the heat pads are inside this jacket. Now as far as I can remember, there's one in each of the elbows. I think there's two down the side of here, maybe across the bottom of here. And I know for a fact there's two big ones in the back, one across the shoulder blades and one across the lumbar region. Or the muffin top region, in my case. <laughs> And something I forgot to mention before is along the bottom of the jacket it's got a draw cord so you can actually like lock it in around your waist to keep any generated heat within the main core of your body. And it's also got a hood as well which you can draw down for extra warmth which I shall be doing just to see how quickly I warm up. This takes me back to the days of sledging when I was like six and seven <laughs> trying to do knots with frozen hands. Is that it? That's it. I think we've got it. Good. Very good. Right. As far as frozen hands go, let's get the gloves on. Now we all know as soon as you go from wearing practically nothing to wearing clothes you will instantly feel warmer. But even after maybe two minutes, I can definitely feel the pads along my back warming up. My back does feel distinctly less cold. Let's just get these gloves on. Let's hit full power on the gloves. And full power on that one. And we'll see just how long it takes for me to feel the warmth on my bare flabby skin underneath this coat and underneath these gloves. Yeah, it's probably been about two minutes since I put the gloves on and already my hands are starting to feel comfortable. The feeling in them and the use of them is starting to come back. I don't feel uh, like kind of disabled by the cold in any way. So that feels pretty good. I think I can feel pads here working as well. Yeah, the ones on the elbows are definitely working. Especially when I press them in against my bare skin. I can definitely feel those. And the one across my back is working really well across the top of my back. And because, believe it or not, there's actually a little bit of spare space in the bottom of this coat. If I press my hands on my back, where my kidneys are, I can feel a bit of warmth starting there as well. So I'll let the heat build up for another five minutes and I'll come back to you. Okay, this probably isn't even five minutes after my last update. All of my body now feels warm, my hands feel as dexterous as ever, considering how many things I've broken and dislocated, they'll never be 100% dexterous. My lips are still huge, far too big for my face, but at least they're working now. I can form words properly without struggling <laughs> due to the cold. <laughs> yeah, so I would say from beginning to end, from starting to heat the coat and the gloves up after being pretty cold outside I would say maybe yeah five to seven minutes that's all it takes for it to warm up and feel like someone's just standing behind you and giving you a lovely warm hug especially on your back that one along the shoulder blades is where I'm feeling the most benefit everywhere else just feels nice and warm that actually feels exceptionally comforting you know when you've got warm shoulders and a warm back it just feels very nice yeah so both of those definitely work well and even without the heating on this jacket is pretty warm. It does have good insulating properties. I wore it 
probably two or three weekends ago when I went out for a walk with my wife and I think it was close to zero degrees then as well. Um, <laughs> I put the heating on full blast and just at walking pace it was actually too warm and all I had on underneath was a t-shirt and a very fine fleece. So at full power you really only need that sort of input as far as the heat goes if you're just standing or sitting for long periods of time. For anything more active you probably won't even need the heating on with this jacket. It does feel genuinely warm but it is very much just a sit down or stand and be warm sort of coat. Obviously you could go for walks in it as well but I wouldn't even bother using the heat. I would save that until you're actually sitting or standing still because you just don't need it. It's warm enough without that, you know. And it'll be warmer still if you had clothes on underneath. Which of course, I don't. So if you're interested in the gloves or the coat, the links to them are in the video description and in the pinned comment. I think when I bought it, there might have been like a 40% discount or something, which made it very affordable uh, and a good buy. Now the links I put down there are on Amazon. And as we know with Amazon, the discounts that are offered can change from day to day or even hour to hour. So if you click on them and you think it's a little bit expensive, try the next day because the chances are it might have a bigger discount on it. <laughs> you know, but I'm happy with what I paid for this, which I think was the 40% discount. Hopefully you found this useful. And if you did, feel free to share the video anywhere online. Give it a thumbs up. Now as always, anybody that's watching, please don't just take my word for it. If you or anybody you know has used the Go Cozy coat or the Go Cozy gloves, please feel free to put your report in the comment section because that is so important to anybody considering buying something like this. And there's so many fake reviews online that I would always urge anybody to go to the comment section of any video you watch on any channel. But I know that probably 99% of people doing reviews out there aren't 100% genuine. <laughs> Let's just say that <laughs> and I won't name names. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Ugh. I feel a little bit overdressed now. Geordies, Geordies, Geordies! <laughs>